Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2021, question 14. Given that y equals x minus 4 over 2 plus root x for x larger than 0, we need to show that dy by dx equals 1 over a root x, where a is a constant to be found. So we're trying to differentiate a fraction here, so we're going to use the quotient rule. The quotient rule is if y is equal to u over v, where u and v are functions of x, then dy by dx is equal to v times du by dx minus u times dv by dx all over v squared. So we'll let u equal the top, the numerator, x minus 4. Differentiating this, well, the x turns to a 1, the 4 disappears, so we get du by dx equals 1. v is going to equal the denominator, 2 plus root x. Again, differentiating this, the number, the 2 disappears. Root x is just x to the half, so we bring that half down, drop the power by 1, so we get dv by dx equals a half, x to the power of minus a half. Now, putting these into our quotient rule formula, we get that dy by dx equals 2 plus root x, so that's from the 1 times the 2 plus root x, minus our u of x minus 4, times by the dv by dx of a half x to the minus a half, and that's all over the denominator, 2 plus root x, all squared. Multiplying out the brackets, we've got the 2 plus root x at the beginning there, we've now got minus a half root x, from the x times a half x to the minus a half, plus 2x to the minus a half, still over 2 plus root x all squared. Bringing those root x's together, we've got 2 plus a half root x, plus 2x to the minus a half, still over 2 plus root x all squared. Now, on the top, we've got a negative power there at the end, and we've got a fraction in our middle term. So let's get rid of those by multiplying top and bottom by 2 root x. So this gives us 4 root x. The second term, the 2 and the half cancel out. The root x is multiplied together just to leave the x, plus 4 at the end. And now on the bottom, we've got 2 root x times by our 2 plus root x all squared. I'm now going to rearrange those terms on the top, put the x at the beginning. You don't need to do this. But looking at it in this form makes it a lot easier to see that actually at the top there, we've got the 2 plus root x all squared, but already expanded. So we can factorise that back in. The top factorises to make 2 plus root x all squared. And this is over 2 root x times 2 plus root x all squared. We can cancel out those square brackets now. And we're left with 1 over 2 root x, which is in the form that we needed. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.